how the heck are you? Today, my speed build is a cute set of brownstone apartments that I made for you guys on my Twitch and TikTok stream. So this one includes five different units and a little mill room and clubhouse. This speed build is going to like kind of jump around a little bit. So please don't mind. I cut out a lot of the hemming and hawing um, that we had along the way. So um, this was my first time really creating something like this. I had a ton of fun though. We looked at a lot of really good reference photos over on Google and um, I asked my uh, my community to post a bunch of photos in my Discord channel and we kind of got those creative juices going and it was just a ton of fun. So the basic idea is to have like two underground um, like studio apartment entrances there and you can see I'm messing around with those doorways and just kind of trying to figure out what the heck is going on because I knew I wanted like a big front entrance and stuff like that and then I knew that I wanted um two entryways kind of like on either side on the left and the right but um, I tried to make it feel all like well put together and stuff like that. And initially I thought that I wanted to have like three different doorways or three of the same doorways kind of here. But eventually you're going to see that I turn um, that I turn them into like smaller doors because I decided to actually make the um, the center like middle portion into a clubhouse instead. So I kind of made it feel a little bit more like an entryway. And you can see I'm kind of like making a door decision right here on the left and the right. And and um, I don't know, this one is a ton of fun, though. Like, it took me a little while to sort of figure out what the heck I wanted to do or how I was going to get these stairs to kind of go down there. And by the way, those are just basements. And if you close up, click a basement, you can actually delete the ceiling on it. And then you have an open air basement just like this. And then you can have entryways and stuff. And it's completely functional. It's super kind of fun. It's, uh, it's super fun to mess with, though. You should definitely try it sometime. Um, it's easier than it looks. I super promise that. Um... So here I'm kind of messing around with like the general shape of the building. And then I tried to kind of make it feel a little bit more covered and a little bit more, you know, guarded. So then I decided to move like the platforms, um, like the deck areas that are on the left and the right apartments um, kind of over it a little bit to sort of create like a little awning style thing. Then here I'm kind of creating a little bit of a, um, a walkway. And here are some planters that I'm kind of adding on the left and the right side. Um, platforms are like my favorite thing in the entire world. So um, I use them a lot. And I'm sorry in advance, only a little bit. <laughs> so the roofing on this, I struggled with this for like a really long time. Also the windows, by the way, um, it took me a while of going back and forth between different types from base game, but yeah. So then um, for the roofing, I'm not really used to doing like a lot of things that were like flat. So I just went with like an alternating half wall pattern that you'll kind of see come together a little more later. Then I had the idea um, to create these egress windows um, on like from the basement so we get a little bit of natural sunlight kind of coming into the studio apartments which you'll see a little bit later then here i'm kind of creating a little shape on the side of the building because it kind of looked flat and a little a little boring like a lot of boring let's be honest <laughs> so i created these like faux balconies that kind of go above the egress windows and i think it turned out so cute so here's kind of like a little peak of the basement but you can kind of see um just the details kind of really make it come together then um here i am adding some brown pillars and stuff which i later turned turn to green and you'll kind of have like a little a better idea of that as that goes on and um here's the greenification of things if you will so um a lot of the exterior of this house is going to be base game and oh by the way i don't know if i i don't know if i like remember saying anything about it but this is base game and for rent only and i did have early access to this so i did the majority of this build on stream with the early access so a big giant thank you to the ea creator network i super duper appreciate the opportunity and it was so much fun to play with this um and give my two cents on everything but anyway, you can kind of see like the green coming together. And then um, along the backside, I opted to make kind of like balconies um, that kind of tr uh, transitioned into like an outdoor gathering space, which you'll see come together a little bit later. To add a little more shape onto the back, I added this hexagon style thingy with this platform, of course. And then um, I kind of messed around, messed around with like a hexagon roof because I think it kind of brought it all together and made it feel really cute. Adding some staircase and a bunch of windows and whatnot. Um, I really like the 
these pillars actually and like this green color um there's some things in base game that kind of like only really go with base game stuff but it works when it works you know and it's a lot of fun it's a good challenge then i'm adding some railing and things to the balconies to kind of give them a little bit of shape i was initially going to have them like be single tile staircases but then my twitch chat my, my twitch chat was like oh my god you should make them like double or triple or whatever and it really brought it together it made it feel like less claustrophobic and like more inviting i guess and you can kind of see that come together here then um we kind of skipped to the inside and the floor plan for this one it was tricky to kind of envision it but once it came together it came together so you can see the centerpiece is going to eventually become a single one bed one bath apartment um that you access through the clubhouse but then the left and the right are mirrored units of each other and these are based off of proper like new york brownstones so when you walk in you have a little foyer there's a little like utility closet that eventually comes together and you can pretty much see straight through all the way to the back from the front door all the way back to the kitchen um through like some archways so here you can see that i'm putting together um the little entryways and this beautiful tile from floor rent it's seriously one of my favorite and then i go on and i do a oh my god what is it called the wiggly woogly little brown floor the wooden floor and then honestly the tiling that came with this pack y'all 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 i'm such a sucker for the way that this um this bathroom came together i am so in love with it it goes really well with the sink so i decided on this green swatch from um that the the flooring is from floor rent and then we accent with some cute um, with some cute tiling. And by the way, the, the inspiration behind these apartments was that it's like a historical, like a, preser a preservation lot. So it feels really old, um, but it's nicely maintained. And then the basement apartments, as well as the, uh, as the top center one, aren't as updated yet. You know, they're kind of like, you know, they're nice, but they're, they're not updated. They haven't been renovated or like maintained as much because they probably don't bring in as much money you know just kind of painting that picture then on the top i wasn't really happy with the roof but then i got the idea to add skylights because again i'm not really used to building things with like flat roofs it's not my thing i'm getting used to it but this was really fun um and i had a blast kind of dreaming this up so i decided to add some skylights and then the middle part my my twitch chat ha and tiktok chat had suggested to actually um kind of raise the centerpiece to kind of create a little bit more dimension and so we're playing with a lot of like different alternating sizes of the half walls and it really brought it all together it ended up getting like the brick paint too um that goes on the rest of the build and then here we are in the kitchen so this has this beautiful like red tile that came with the foy rent pack and i'm playing around with a little bit of design because i didn't want to have like a full border all around i kind of wanted to feel a little bit more pieced together and like put together so here i'm just playing with like the the way that it would work the best and then i opted for um this design here then over here i'm using uh, my little island trick that i do so this is where the sink is actually going to go so you use island pieces with the rounded end pieces and then it creates this adorable little sink nook and of course you know we can't live without the cabinets and then a little fridge nook this should be functional by the way um if it's pulled out enough it should be but um yeah it's a problem for later, I guess. And of course, you know, even more platforms. It adds some dimension to that hallway and it creates a, a seamless transition area coming from the foyer to the hallway. Um, and then, uh, um, so my idea with this house was to have it move in ready. So it comes with bathrooms and full kitchens and then your sim kind of brings in the rest. So um, I really liked that idea of sort of creating a move in a bowl space. That was very good English of me, but you know, it's fine. Then I got the idea. I was kind of stumped on where I wanted to put the mailboxes, but then I'm like, wait, a mail room. That's so cute. So it's like a, uh, it's like right in the front of like the, the shared living space, kind of in the center that I was talking about before. And you can see the staircase that goes under the top floor, which will then lead to a center, like one bed, one bath apartment. Um, and here you can see I'm working on um, the, the left and the right apartment. So I think it's uh, brownstone one and two apartments or something there's some adorable little um bathroom so these are technically like one and a half bathroom apartments on the left and the right but yeah they all kind of came together nicely then um there's some touches kind of coming in and some details some bookcases and stuff in the clubhouse and i borrow swatches from spaces so don't mind if i jump around a lot um but yeah it was super cute then here's a sitting area um for the clubhouse so you can have a place to kind of chat with your neighbors kind of hang out you can read a book or something and then on the top floor there's actually like chess and a game table i don't know if that quite got like pulled into the footage or anything but here then i'm adding a 
like a little end table and um, a nice little painting to kind of put on the wall to bring the space all together. But I also really, like, I gotta say, um, the tiling from this pack is absolutely stunning. Like, I am obsessed with it. It's so versatile. And um, if you spend any amount of time on my channel, you know that I love doing historic style builds. So this was absolutely fun to me. I'm obsessed. And then um, in the basement, it's accessible through the left and the right staircases um, that you saw outside that are kind of flanking the front entrance. Um, there's a shared gym space. Then um, here is working on the studio apartments that are on the left and the right of there. And I decided to make platform staircases because the staircases weren't like wanting to clip to the platform which is like intended to be like a bedroom like living space up there but um it is tall enough or short enough rather for a sim to go in there adding a couple details and a couple cabinets of course because you know it is what it is um I try to make this one feel a little bit more dated um and I think I really pulled that off though um it's intended to be very cozy and very small but we do have a full bathroom here um, and these ones turned out so cute. I opted for this like light brown tile down here. And then we're kind of peeking onto the outside. Um, honestly, re in real time, it took me 11 minutes, 11 real life minutes to landscape this. I had an idea in mind and the ideas, when they flow, they flow, let me tell ya. Let me tell ya, um, I got so excited. So then um, I decided to try to go for like prim and proper, like just very neat and orderly style landscaping and stuff, which is something that I don't normally do, but hey, I like it. And of course some lighting because you know, lights are nice, I guess. I like to see where I'm going. Then I kind of uh, dabbled in a little bit of these bushes kind of everywhere and the cute little hedges that are debug. Oh my God, I love those, they're my favorite. Then in the backyard, I kind of had the idea to kind of use this like half fence it's like a fence wall thing I don't know it's not a fence but it's not quite a wall fence wall I don't know it works so then um I love all to create a little bit of shape and a little bit of dimension one thing that I love to do is I love to alternate hedges and kind of like stipple them in there if you will what are these words that I'm using today I don't even know but then um this is intended to be kind of like a communal area and then of course I had to use the hopscotch that came with the new for rent pack it's so cute um so if there are children that are going to be living on this lot there's something to do and of course if you want something a little spicy I did add the um the you tell us so there's a telescope hanging out back there. Hopefully they don't burn the property down, you know, by like bringing in meteors or something. But um, yeah, so this is a, a gathering area and there is a grill with like a little picnic table and stuff. Um, so you can like, you know, hopefully not burn your sim to death and stuff or your neighbors. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This one is on the gallery. My gallery ID is inside my bio if you want it. And as I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially with you in it. And I will catch you in the next one.